evaluate the limit of x squared plus 3x minus 7. When evaluating a limit of a function which is known to be continuous, like x squared plus 3x minus 7, the evaluation of a limit is pretty straightforward. All I'm going to have to do is directly substitute the value of x equals 2 into the expression x squared plus 3x minus 7, and that will give me the limit. In this case, the limit as x approaches 2 is 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 7. 2 squared is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 plus 6 minus 7 is 3. The limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 3x minus 7 is 3. This is true because I know that x squared plus 3x minus 7, like all polynomials with rational coefficients, is continuous. In fact, x squared plus 3x minus 7, a quadratic, has a graph which is a parabola. And a parabola is continuous from left to right. A parabola has this general shape. There are no gaps in this graph across its domain from negative infinity to positive infinity. This can be verified if you have a graphing utility. The graph of x squared plus 3x minus 7 is shown here on the right in blue. You can see this graph is, in fact, continuous. There are no gaps or holes in this graph. And in situations like that, the limit can be evaluated with direct substitution. I could also, if I do have the graph, I could also evaluate the limit graphically. As x approaches a value of 2 from the left and the right side, you can see that it's zeroing on a, in on a point that would have a y-coordinate of 3. The graph actually does have the point 2, comma 3 uh, right on the graph. That's a point on the graph, and it's also the limit as x approaches 2.